Do you know that God has a standard and sadly a lot of Christians don't keep that standard and you're probably wondering what is that standard? That is God's word. Coming out of a cult, I, I'm pretty sure some of you have heard my testimony or if not, I came out of a cult, I spent one and a half years being indoctrinated by this cult. So coming out of it, reflecting back on my experience, I realized that my Christian, my walk with Christ before that was a joke. <laughs> and the reason why it was a joke was because these people in a cult, even though they're, fo they're following a false Christ, they give their all in reading the word, meditating on the word, attending the word, um, attending fellowship like almost every day of the week and evangelizing they put so much effort although they are serving a false god which is really sad but it's even more sad to see that they do a much better work than people who proclaim that they are following the true christ and even if you look outside of that when you look at other religions they have a law that most of them follow in comparison to us Christians. And even outside of religion, we have boundaries, right? Which is also kind of like a law or a standard that we keep. And when people cross it, we're like, <laughs> get out. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we're so serious in keeping that boundaries, but it's sad that there are not there are not a lot of Christians that that we can say that keep God's word, that keep God's standard. And it's really sad. It's it's just like we're the Israelites, you know. God gave them a list of commands to follow and yet they ended up disobeying, right? So in the same way, in our generation there are not a lot of people who keep God's standard, who keep God's word. And, you know, it's really sad to see. And I'm not trying to say this to judge you, okay? I'm trying to say this to encourage you that, yes, there's God's standard, but there's also grace in keeping that standard, right? So if there is a sin that you're trying to overcome or a weakness you're trying to overcome, do not give up, right? If you fall into sin, do not give up. Get back up again. The Bible says that the righteous fall seven times, but they still get up, right? One of the things that the devil wants to do is to keep us away from God. And how he does that is making us feel like, man, we are, we are sinful, right? We can't go to God. And, you know, God doesn't want us to feel that way i mean yes of course we may feel that way sometimes we may feel shameful and we may feel not worthy but god wants the best for us right he still wants us to come back to him and when you meditate on his word right on those verses that speaks to that particular situation you're in when you continue to meditate on those verses, you continue to pray, you continue to spend time in his presence, before you know it, you're like, wait a minute, <laughs> I'm not doing that thing that I used to do, right? You'll see that you have overcome that thing you're in, that sin you're trying to overcome, right? Or even just as simply as, you know, getting angry, you know, before you were angry, but once you find those verses, of on anger you meditate on those verses um you pray you spend time in his presence before you know you you see that you don't get angry easily and in fact you even show more kindness to people than you've ever done before <laughs> right so all this to say is that there is a standard that we must follow right don't get me wrong there is a standard that we must follow and there is grace for us in keeping those standards however let's not take god's grace for granted